Hello viewers, welcome to Pathology Discussion Forum and today in Med School Microvlog 8, I will talk about dysplasia. Now, what is dysplasia? Dysplasia is the disordered cellular development. It is often accompanied by metaplasia and hyperplasia and sometimes it is referred to as atypical hyperplasia. Dysplasia most commonly seen in the epithelial cells. Epithelial dysplasia is characterized by cellular proliferation and cytological changes. Now, what are the cytological changes that we commonly see? Now, the first one that is increased number of layer of epithelial cells. In case of normal epithelium, there, there are a certain number of layer of cells in case of normal epithelium. But in case of dysplasia, the number of layers are increased. Also, there is disordered arrangement of the cells from basal layer to the surface layer. That means the cells are not evenly distributed or they are not distributed in some layers. The next feature that is loss of basal polarity. Now what is basal polarity? Basal polarity is that the nuclei usually lie in close contact with the basement membrane. But in case of dysplasia, there is distance from the basement membrane. Next feature that is cellular and nuclear pleomorphism. That means there is variation in size of the cells as well as the size of nucleus. Next feature that is increased nucleocytoplasmic ratio. That means there is high NC ratio. Normally there is 1 is to 4 to 1 is to 6 ratio that is present in case of normal cells. But in case of dysplasia or malignancy, this ratio is close to 1 is to 1. Next feature that is nuclear hyperchromatia. That means there is increased density of the nuclear chromatin. So the intensity of the blue color of nucleus is high. The next feature that is increased mitotic activity. That means the mitotic count is increased. Now what are the examples of dysplasia? There are two very common examples. The first one that is dysplasia in the uterine cervix and the next one that is dysplasia in the respiratory tract. Now what are the causes of dysplasia? It is commonly seen due to chronic irritation or prolonged inflammation and sometimes on removal of the inciting stimulus these changes may disappear and in few cases dysplasia may progress into carcinoma in C2 or in full-fledged malignancy. Okay, that's it for now. If you are new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and the all notification button. Okay, that's it for now.